What is up, BBL crew? This is your boy, Perfecti Blue, here with the semi-finals of Season 3 of the Banless Battlers League, where your San Diego State Azelfs will be taking on the Kansas City Kingdras, coached by Clutch sometimes. So we played Clutch earlier in the season. Uh, it was week 5, I believe. We were both 3-1. Basically... It was an even game until Zero Aura did Zero Aura things and I lose, yada yada yada. So, before I get into uh, the team I brought, I'm going to show you the team I brought last time because, uh, like, kind of important, I guess. So, as you can see here, Clutch has the Zero Aura, Arceus Dark, Zatu, Como, Garboder, Aegislash, Donphan, Audino, Mega Slowbro, and Chinotic. So, Last time he opted to not bring Zatu, Como, Omega, Slowbro, Shinotic. Shinotic makes sense. Yeah, I'm not going to go into that. Mega Slowbro, uh, kind of interesting. I mean, I do have Hydreigon, I do have Mega Gengar. I can kind of see why he didn't want to bring it there. Zatu and Como, I thought were maybes. Uh, Como doesn't have the best matchup. It needs a lot of coverage, as well as, like, it's against Quagsire and such. I can see why he didn't want to bring that. I kind of expected a Scarf Zatu, uh, I felt that that had an okay matchup against me, but, you know, he decided not to bring it. So, yeah, I have to prep for it, obviously. I'm prepping for nine mons here, because Shinotic's not a real mon. Audino is actually kind of annoying for my team in general, though, so I'll have to be careful for that. And so, last time I brought Togekiss, it, Togekiss has a pretty good matchup, it's just that, like... I don't know, with Zero Aura there, kind of annoying, uh, yeah, really just Zero Aura. Aegislash is also a bit annoying for it as well, so I have to be careful for that. I brought Dragonium Z-Hydreigon to get some solid damage, uh, Infernape, I really like the set, uh, Nasty Plot, however, like, Arceus Dark and Zero Aura can just kill me afterwards, so I have to be, like, that was kind of annoying. I have Mega Gengar here, it's a Parish Trap one, not very optimal, but yeah. Uh, Quagsire, Marshall, yeah, sits there, does things, yeah. Uh, and then last one we have Electros with, um, it's Rest Talk with Toxic, so yeah, Toxic Stall, that's how I wanted to beat him last time. So, yeah, Zero Aura was re a really big issue. He did bring the Grass Knot Lure for Quagsire, so I'll have to be careful for that. I feel like Electros is really nice against Zero Aura though, so have to utilize that a bit more and as well as like if i had a scarf for that'd be nice so let's get into the team i brought this time first one we have here is uh this is mega gengar so sub disable parish song pain split my thought process is i could trap stuff this could be a lot of fun i just have to play it right uh i could have gone to 52 hp and 76 defense uh, but reason being, I want to take Zero Aura hits a bit better, uh, just in case it comes down to that. As well as, like, a uh, Pain Split with that, I do get a bit more percentage of my health back whenever I click it in, like, yeah, the lower HP set. Yeah, okay. So, Mega Gengar, King Boo, he's going to try to trap some things. Next one we have here is, uh, Calgary the Infernape. Same set, however, uh, I sped crept a point higher, as well as, like, I wanted an odd amount of HP just in case, so, took a little bit out of special attack, I don't think it'll matter too much, but yeah. Uh, Vacuum Wave over Focus Blast, Audino's really not an issue either way, so, I feel like I can deal with that, and I wanted a way to potentially do some damage to the Zara Aura or Arceus Stark just in case they wanted to revenge me. If I were at plus two, Vacuum Wave would do a good amount of damage. Next one we have here is San Diego or Azelf, uh, with the Taunt Stealth Rock Fire Blast Psychic. So this one, like my Azelf, should be able to take um any hit from the Age of Slash that I feel he's gonna bring. Last time he brought Gyro Ball, Shadow Sneak King Shield, was it Toxic? Believe something like that. Anyways, this Azelf can live a Gyro Ball, um, if he's the same spread that I expect him to be. Uh, I brought Fire Ram Z just cause like, okay, so, 
This Azelf can't touch Slowbro, but my thought process is, if I can taunt it, I could just slowly whittle it down with something, and that could be really nice against, uh, his team. As well as, like, a Fire EMZ, it's just really kind of, I guess, free against the things he wants to go into. If he doesn't know my Azelf, uh, move slots, then he probably won't be as tempted to, uh, go into slow bro and like that's fine uh his two likely switches will probably be Aegis Slash and Arceus Stark so yeah just keep that in mind next uh yeah we need a Scarfer Hydreigon here uh you turn over Roost just for momentum purposes and uh yeah I wanted to creep a Scarfzatu just in case as well as like if he was let's say Rock Polish Dawn fan or uh I guess he could be... What else could he be? Like, a uh, autonomized Aegis Slash. As well as, like, if you wanted to be, like, a Jolly Como and, you know, run a lot of speed and stuff, if I was modest, I wouldn't be able to outspeed it anyway, so, like, what's the point? But, yeah, mainly Zatu, just in case you wanted to go max speed on that. And, uh, yeah, that's our Hydreigon set. Next one we have here is the Electros by a Papa Berry, because that's the coolest one. Volt Switch Toxic Dragon Tail Super Fang. This is just a really an annoying set against the team, I feel. Uh, Dragon Tail's are really nice to phase out potential mon. Super Fang, you know, to chip at things. Toxic, pretty cool. Volt Switch, momentum. And yeah, that's Electros. Last one we have here will be Newman the Obama Snow. So. Snow Warning is just nice, I feel, just in case, like, if Hydreigon's weakened, hypothetically, I'd need to chip down the Zero Aura as fast as possible to either put it into range of a uh, Vacuum Wave Infernape or maybe I Shard of Bomba Snow. Uh, Snow Warning can help with that, just, like, chipping down things. As well as, like, uh, Break Stomp Fan Sturdy, all of that. Bullet Seed, I really wanted Wood Hammer. I really did, but I felt like I just couldn't fit it on too well. I want Obama Snow to be able to have the Ice Shard priority uh, late game just in case Zero Aura or Arceus Dark uh, get out of hand, but I mean, at the same time, Wood Hammer does do a lot more damage to, let's say, the Audino or the Mega Slowbro, so really had to try to think about what I really wanted to do there. I opted just with Bullet Seed. Reason being is like, if you were a sub mon, I could break the sub, not take as much recoil, maybe get a few extra hits, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so that's the team. Let's get right into the battle. So I'll have to do that. So it'll be about here. So okay go back a bit. What? Dude. Okay, so as you can see here, he decides to bring the Arceus Dark. He brings Aegis Slash, Zero Aura, Mega Slowbro, Dawnfin, Audino. So the exact same six, however, he did well, like five of six that he brought last time. He opted for uh, Mega Slowbro over Garboder. Like, it does make sense because, you know, there is still trash on here and it is going to be clutch right here. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to lead off with Infernape. Reason being, I just felt like it was a good lead against his team. Uh, I could bluff Scarf. That's something I could really do. And that could be very annoying for him. Uh, kind of force out, like, maybe Dawnfan or something. So, like, either Dawnfan or Mega Slowbro early, just so I could see what they want to do. If he wants to Mega with Slowbro early, that's very fine as well. So, here he's going to lead Arceus Dark. Wasn't really expecting that as lead. He's going to go Dawn Fan as I'm going to make the double into my, uh, Hydreigon here. Really just so I can U-turn, uh, get the Sturdy off, like, Sturdy's gone. And I felt like Play Rough was coming, so it is really nice to have that bolt on the Azelf. As, um, another thing is, like, uh, I wanted it to have timid damage just in case, so, like, uh, if he was, like, not, a, like, if he wasn't creeping, like, back speed A's up with Arceus, then maybe, like, I could trick him there, but, yeah, he's gonna, we're gonna trade rocks here, 
uh, I really wanted to taunt, but at the same time, it was like, uh, I do want to get damage off on something with this Azo. So as you're going to see here, he is going to go into his Audino, and uh, I believe I just clicked Psychic. It does reveal here that this Audino is uh, obviously an Audino, because it takes about that much. However, he's going to be a Jack button, and this is very bad, because he's going to go out into his Arceus, and um, he gets free switch into it, so yeah, that's not very cool. Uh, I'm just going to go into Electros here, reason being is like, Judgment could come off, but uh, I just felt it was a safe middle ground just in case he wanted to like, hard predict in Burning and like, go for the power or like, Ice Beam or Hydreigon or something like that, but here he is going to reveal Sub and then Toxic, so it's like, yeah, he's most likely going to be Sub, Toxic, Judgment, Recover, uh, I'm just going to Volt Switch out here. The Electros does get shut down, which is annoying, but Hydreigon U-Turn should be able to break this. And, yeah, this is going to be very difficult for me right here. As, uh, I'm just going to U-Turn into my Gengar. I really don't think the Judgment comes out here. And I should be able to beat this Arceus, um, if he is at full health. So he's either going to recover here, I feel like. He could Toxic, or he could just get up another sub. And I, I really didn't feel the judgment was coming. So here he's going to get another sub. This is the perfect opportunity, because he won't switch now. I can go for my sub here, get the Mega off, guaranteed trap him. And like during the game, I had to like double check to make sure Disable went through sub. And it does, so um, if he does judgment here, it will be a checkmate for this Arceus, and that'll be really, really nice, because this is a very annoying one. So here he's going to judgment as a um, pretty cool animation, but uh, I can just disable the next turn, and that can be really nice for me. So, yeah, as you're going to see here, I click the disable, and uh, he obviously wants to go for that judgment. So, ooh boy, that is very nice. I can go for the Parish Song here, and how the, like, Disable works, on the last turn of my Parish Song, on the one I switch out, he will be able to click Judgment again, so he does have that option always, uh, going to be kind of annoying for me to, like, deal with that, because I have to predict a switch, but I mean, if I, if he loses his Arceus to it, that is very fine. So here I'm just going to spam Disable, um, like, I don't want to reveal Pain Sport yet, mainly. Uh, I could bluff the fact that I could be, like, Shadow Ball or something, so that could just be really nice there. As, um, yeah, Gengar's going to beat the Arceus Dark, oh my gosh, I, this is just amazing, because, like, oh, yeah, so, he gets Judgment back, uh, I'm going to pull the switch into Hydreigon, just because I feel like the Judgment is coming, however, um, like, there's no reason for me to stand with Mega Gengar. I just lose my Gengar, so I had to switch. He's going to uh, read that and go for the Toxic here. Uh, kind of nice, just to, you know, get some residual chip on this Hydreigon. As, uh, he does know I am most likely a Scarf Hydreigon, as, uh, I do outspeed his Arceus. And I am, in fact, a Scarf Hydreigon. So, going to lose his Arceus. Ah, Mega Gengar. That's how it is. And... He's going to go into Aegis Slash, so I'm thinking, okay, it could be a lure for me, it could be like Cobraberry or something, so I'm just going to pull the switch into my Electros here, as uh, I can really take any hit, I feel, as well as like, I feel like with the Mons I have, because Arceus Stark is out of the way, I can deal with Zero Aura a lot more freely now, I do have uh, priority options, I do have Scar Hydreigon, so as you can see, he goes for the Autotomize. He goes for it again, uh, which does tell me that this is a bit of a slower Aegis Slash. I'm just going to Dragon Tail it out. That is very useful to know, because what I'm thinking is, Hydreigon, like, if I'm a Scarf Hydra, I should be able to outspeed it still if he went for two Autotomizes. There's really no reason why I felt he could have done that. He's just going to close combat with the Zero Aura here. Uh, it's going to pop my Eye of Papa Berry, because uh, I am very cool. And, um, yeah, look at that. That's just amazing how that works. I'm just going to get the Toxic off on this thing, you know, slowly chip at it. As, um, 
I wanted to super ping, but, you know, I'll just super ping this turn. Get the toxic off, you know. That's kind of nice. Uh, I put a timer on this, though, and that can maybe benefit me. I do need more damage on this, though, to be very comfortable. So, here he's going to withdraw and go into his Audino. And uh, I'm just going to super ping. So, yeah. I'm going to super fang, going to do some damage. As, like, I can switch out here. I can, like, bolt switch or something. Which is what I believe I'd use. So he clicks wish here. And, ooh, boy, hell oh boy. If this is, like, um, let's say knock off wish protect. Let's see. I don't know what the last move might be. So I'm just going to go for game here. Uh, Infernape Nasty Plot. I didn't want to just KO this, I, I'd use it as setup fodder, so Nasty Plot here, oh my gosh, we're going to go for game, and uh, he is going to reveal the Yawn, so very scummy player, the clutches, uh, this is not very nice, as, like, you know, he might protect to, uh, like, put me to sleep and everything, he might knock maybe, so I'm just going to go into Mega Gengar, I know I can, like, it's a bit of a risky play, but... Uh, as you can see here, he just goes for the protect, and what this means is that this Audino is dead. So, the sub's going to come off, uh, he's going to yawn, it's going to fail, and uh, I can just perish song this thing. So as you can see here, Mega Gengar trapped another thing, boys. Uh, this is kind of a poggers. So, yeah, he's going to go for the knockoff. As you can see here, it does not break my sub, so like, yeah, I'm kind of golden right now, and, uh, yeah, he's going to go for the protect. I'm just going to disable, I believe, as, uh, kind of the nice thing to do here, but here, because it is the last, like, it's the last turn I'm staying in, so I'm just going to pain split, you know, get up to a bit more health. Maybe I can live a zero or a hit later or something, and, uh, get a pair song off on that, or like, yeah, so... Here he's just gonna throw up a wish. Kinda timed that not as well. Cause like he could have wished pass into something, but uh, I'm just gonna switch out here as there is no reason for me to stay in with this. So uh yeah, I'm gonna go into my hydrogen as I thought it was like nice switching. Uh just in case he wanted to yawn, which I do read perfectly. Electros kind of was the play hindsight, but I mean Hydreigon's fine because I can see what he wants to go into uh, after. As well as, like, I have the Electros sack in the back just in case. Maybe I should have gone Electros. Wow. So here he's going to go into this. Because he autonomized twice, I think my Hydreigon outspeeds. So I'm just going to go for the Dark Pulse here. It should put him into range of, like, most stuff. So here he's going to pop the weakness policy as, um... Yeah, very scary. However, I do feel like I still outspeed this. If I don't, I just go into Obama Snow and uh, I Shard. If for some reason it doesn't kill, Snow Warning will kill it afterwards. Like, he's at such a low amount. There's no way that it, like he lives in the Ice or so, thing. So, yeah, I'm just going to Dark Pulse here. I do outspeed. That is really cool. And we are up 6-3 to three against Clutch right now. And um, my Hydreigon is very weak. That is not good. So here he's going to go into this. Uh, I'm just going to sack Electros. And here, like, I wanted to go in for an ape and just Grass Knot. Save things for the back. However, if he was Rindo Berry, I didn't want to lose in for an ape. I'd rather lose a Bomb of Snow, I feel like, at this point. Just because I know in for an ape is guaranteed damage on um, Zero Aura, potentially. Like, Grass Knot prevents the slow bro from doing stuff because like I am expert belt and everything uh as well as like modest so like yeah Infernip was really nice I'm just gonna bullet seed it does not pop rindo barrier or anything so um yeah gonna have to hope for some hits here but um I get three uh he <laughs> he has a pop of berry that's not very nice and uh, he's going to be able to gunk shot me here, and um, that will lose- I will lose my Obama still, but like, I really didn't want to lose in for an ape. As well as like, gunk shot could miss, you, you never know. But, I mean, now I know for sure I can go into my Infernape. 
and so that's what I'm going to do here. Grass Knot will be able to KO this thing. If he wants to go Zera afterwards, I can Vacuum Wave. If he wants to go Slow Bro, I can uh, Grass Knot, obviously. And so Grass Knot's going to come off. It's going to kill the Dawn Fan. And so, yeah, Dawn Fan's dead. I am up uh, four to two, but you know, have to be careful of the Zera Aura. It is. Like, okay, I have Hail Up and everything, as well as Poison. It's going to chip at this uh, really nicely. I'm going to Vacuum Wave here, hope for some damage. He's going to reveal that he is Electric EMZ. Just think, like, Infernape might have looked at I don't know, like, Infernape's kind of cool. And, um, yeah, he's going to go for that with the Zera Aura. It's obviously going to be able to KO my Infernape, so, yeah. Now, what I'm thinking here... I don't need Azelf anymore. I, I feel like I don't need it at all. I'm just going to go and sack that. So, like, my thought process is, if I can get it to Hydreigon versus Slowbro, that's going to be my best chance to win this game. Very confusing endgame, though. Because, like, Mega Gengar, like, it's at a... I feel like it won't be able to beat the Slowbro in the end. Because, like, if he has Scald plus, like, Psychic, he will be able to break my subs and all, so... Really a lost effort. Plasma Fizz is going to come off. I'm going to get more damage off on the Zera Aura, though. Uh, like, Hail going to come off. Uh, poison. And so, like, um, here we're going to see, like, this is, uh, so, alright, let me explain. So, what I'm thinking is, if you wanted to, let's say, pull the switch into Slowbro, I wanted a bit more health. So, like, he's going to Plasma Fizz, right? And, um, I'm going to live it because I have defense. And, uh, I'm going to pain split it and just, like, give him back health. But as you're going to see, this is a blessing in disguise for me. Like, no cap. So, here, uh, I'm thinking he might just sack his Zero Aura to the Toxic. But here he's going to take out my Gengar. As, like, I revealed that, like... I can't really touch slow bro so i mean that's a thing i guess i guess like pain split and then dark pulse i guess i don't know but as you're gonna like like what we learned here he is um trick room slow bro not very nice um against my team and what this means is that if i didn't pain split there his zero war would have died and he would have got trick room up on the slow bro so like him spamming like close combat or something could have been like his play or something so this means i either need to kill it or i need to go for a flinch and as you can see here he does have spadef investment and he is able to get up the trick room so unfortunately that'll be a good game uh you know i was so big brain using the pain split i didn't even realize but yeah this slow bro is going to be able to beat Hydreigon, and that will be our VBL season. Oh my gosh, what a game. Uh, yeah, so we played this, like, really late at night, and, like, man, it, w it was really insane. Like, this game was, I don't know if you guys remember, but it's, like, BBL season 2 quarterfinals versus Aaron. It's kind of like that. It's like, oh my gosh, what just happened? Like, Gengar, okay, the Gengar set, like, <laughs> it was a bit of an asshole set, but, I mean, what can you do? Like, I, I really wanted to be RSC's Dark and everything. Like, he brought a Scummy RSC's Dark set, I brought the Scummy or Mega Gengar set, so, what can you do there? Unfortunately, our BBL season will end here, as well as, like, Wi-Fi for Gen 7, I guess? So, we fall on semis for the second straight season, uh... Last season doesn't count, to be honest, though, because, like, I had to play Gypsy. That's really not fair at all, so. Uh, yeah. That's going to be a good game against Clutch. He's going to play the winner of Bird and Kelly. So, like, if I were to win this game, like, hypothetically, and let's say Bird won, I'd play Arceus all three rounds of playoffs. That would have been very, like, okay, only three Arceuses were allowed in the league. Like, that's just kind of crazy. But yeah, go check out Bird vs. Kelly if they have it up. Anyways, that is going to be a good game against Clutch. Thanks you guys for watching. Thanks you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys 
were watching. And like, really, just BBL, starting in Gen 7, it was a bit of a rocky ride, but, you know, we got to the end of Season 3, that's really cool. Aaron's probably going to- Aaron has some plans for, like, the future of BBL and everything, so that is going to be very nice as well. Like, when a Season 4 comes out, like, I 100% I want to return and everything, so... Yeah, BBL, it's, you know, se three seasons in, we made at least semis every single season. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, I guess, like, this season, we had to... Luck stripped out and everything. Anyways, yeah. Uh, thanks, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, peace.